Now we're going to add an interactive element in here. We're going to actually add a button in here that will actually let us click to visit a website. I'm going to select the sound layer, click new layer. We're going to name it button. Then what we're going to do is let's scrub the timeline out. Let's come out to about frame 330. Select that frame. We're going to choose timeline, insert a blank keyframe. Now we're going to go to the window menu and bring up the components panel. So components are a series of um, both movie clips and action script that Adobe has put together to help you more quickly design and develop things inside of Flash and Flex. So let's go into the user interface and let's grab the button component and I'm going to drag and drop this button right on the stage. So let's move this down over here. Let's close our components. So we'll see now that we have this um, artwork now on the stage, that blank keyframe turned into an artwork keyframe. And also in our library, you'll notice we have a new object here, a button object with all of its uh, controls and even linkage properties. Let's select this. I'm going to move it up actually a little bit. Let's come up to the window menu and let's go to the component inspector. In here, we can change the properties about the button, including what the button actually says. So by default, the label property is set to label. Let's change that to find a theater. Hit return. So once I do that, we'll see that the find a theater text actually shows up in that button now as well. Let's close that. Now we also want to animate this. But one thing about components is although they're movie clips, they're compiled movie clips with action script. And if we want to animate them, we have to wrap these into a symbol as well. So before we do that, the first thing I'm going to do is with the button object selected, we're going to come up here to the properties panel and we're going to name this my button in the uh, instance name. We're actually going to target this with action script. So the first thing we need to do is give this object a name. Click return. Now that it's named with the button selected, let's choose modify and convert to symbol. This process here of taking art and converting it to a symbol is something that was done automatically for us when we imported the Illustrator file using Flash's import feature. We're going to name this button clip. Choose OK. Now let's select this item. We actually now have selected the button clip movie clip. And we also need to name this object on the stage as well. We're going to name this button clip. So button clip, movie clip, if I double click this, this will bring me into what Flash calls isolation mode, which we also saw the same idea inside of Sound Booth when we went into individual sounds in a multi-track sound file. And we can see that now inside of button clip, if I select this object, here's where my original button is. Now to come out of isolation mode, I'm going to come back here and click on scene one. That's going to bring us back to the main stage. Again, very much like what we did with uh, Sound Booth. So now that this is a movie clip, we're ready to animate this. Okay, with the timeline back at frame 330, I'm going to select a button, hold the shift key and hit my left arrow to move this button off the stage. Let's right click and say create a motion tween. Double identity. Come out to about frame 355. Hold my shift key, hit my right arrow, and let's move this back into the stage area. Let's drag this across and see the animation. So at this point, the movie will stop. We see our stop frame here. Let's come into the script layer, right at frame 330, right where this movie clip holding our button comes into play. Let's choose insert, timeline, and a blank keyframe. Now in order to make this button clickable, we're going to have to add a little bit of action script which will activate the button, add a listener object, and have the button pay attention to the user's mouse. So in the exercise files, let's come into my button underscore script.as. Let's double click that. This is simply just a text file and this has the action script that's needed to turn this object into a clickable item. So if we take a look at this script really quick, we have a function with a name of my button pressed, and this is what happens when you press the button. 
This is actually going to go to a URL. So you can change the destination of the URL. So in this case, I'm going to put Codify Design. And then what we have here is on line five, we have the declaration that tells the button clip dot my button, which targets the my button object inside of the button clip movie clip to use the hand cursor, which means it'll turn into a pointer when somebody rolls over it. And then on line six, we're adding an event listener so that the object is listening for a mouse event and it's waiting for you to press your mouse button. When you press your mouse button, it's going to run the function called my button pressed. My button pressed in turn is this function name and it's going to execute this navigate to URL. So let's select all of this, choosing edit select all. Let's copy. Let's come back to our movie promo.fla. We have our first blank keyframe selected here at frame 330. Open up the actions panel and simply hit paste. Now I'm going to click this little triangle here and close up the left hand area so we can see the whole script. So again on the stage if I click on find a theater, this is actually called button clip. I'll pin the script so it's up the whole time. So if I select this, this is called button clip. And here we have button clip. Inside of button clip we have the button that we named my button. So this action script, when it's executed at frame 330, will activate this object and turn it into a clickable item.